All right, guys, so basically, I just got this package right here. It's actually a mixture. Actually, the lighting there is not good. Let me go this way so you're not getting glare on the screen. Okay, it looks like it came with like a stand. That's the bag. This is the bad boy we want. Look at this, guys. Finally, Canon PowerShot G7 Max. This is like basically the best vlogging and video recording camera out there, so I'm excited about this. This is like a charger. Uh, yeah, so it looks like a cleaning tool. Memory card, high quality lens spray cleaner. Okay guys, basically that's it. Let me open this up real quick because I can't do it with one hand, so just give me one second. So of course, comes with a manual. Who reads that stuff? Okay, I don't do unboxing videos clearly. I think. Um, yeah, it seems like that's about it. So I'm about to switch over to this camera instead. Like, hey, you know what? I owe you guys this more than ever. So I haven't been pumping any videos for like the last maybe week or two, it's because I've been kind of prepping up to how can I be able to get things to be more professional? How can I be able to make sure you guys are gonna get the best quality and the best of everything for my YouTube channel, okay? And I've been getting a lot of Instagram support, a lot of YouTube support. My Facebook is basically dead. I'm sorry guys who are there. But, face but YouTube and Instagram is where I'm really focused on, right? Because that's where basically Africa is at. And um, so I'm really, oh, that's so cool. It just got dark outside. It was able to auto adjust. That's pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, so what I'm gonna be doing is, um, so my new videos are gonna start coming out like basically starting this week, right? And I'm gonna start new series. Of course, we have the Entrepreneur Vault 100 series. We have the Q&A series. And I wanna push in some more vlogging series in there. That's why I ended up getting this camera as well because it's gonna help with the vlogging experience and stuff like that. I'm gonna get a better microphone maybe and better light setups and everything else, all right? But anyway, guys, I don't make this video too long. It's basically kind of me flexing the new camera. And I haven't spent anything, okay, on myself. Other than, okay, for my YouTube channel, I've maybe invested only on the marketing. Other than that, I've not really invested in the quality and stuff like that, which is my fault. But once again, guys, you gotta start, to, you gotta start from where you are. Anywhere, I always get people asking me questions on YouTube or I mean on Instagram like, hey, how do I start making videos? Do I need to go buy expensive equipment? As in, guys, it is what? This is like the second or close to the third year in and I'm finally buying a camera. Now, of course, if you got the budget of buying a really good quality camera, do that off the back. But when I started off, I was maybe making $50 a month or $100 a month. So I was nowhere near affording a camera at this caliber, okay? But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for supporting the YouTube channel. Um, this is for you guys. Honestly, this, everything here is, it is for me too, but it's definitely for you guys because you guys have been awesome support and it's time for us to take things to the next level. And I'm going to be pumping out more like really direct content, okay? I've been having a lot of people asking me questions about how to start an entrepreneurship here and there. And guys, I'm also new to, as in I've been in the entrepreneur game for since I can remember when I was a kid, but I'm still learning a lot of different things. But I want to start a new series where I'm basically helping people find side hustles. And I'm going to talk more a little bit that in detail later because in Africa, um, I see that there's an opportunity of people learning how to use the internet to be able to learn how to make money online without having to necessarily only focus on the local ma market there because the local market in Africa is actually more difficult than the market in Europe or China. Well, China, let's talk about just US and Europe and Canada and stuff like that. But the reason why Africa is a little bit more difficult, well, we'll talk about that in another episode. But to cut this short, guys, thanks for all the support. Peace out.